Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. Sammy here at Sammy J Searches, and this is going to be um a catch-up video because I didn't vlog at all last week. I didn't record anything while I was out of town. Um, by the way, it is Thursday, July or August eighth. Um, so I feel like it's been forever since I talked to y'all. I know, but things should be coming back to normal after today. So this one will be a catch up of, um, really just retreat because, and, and since I've been home, because the few days leading up to retreat, I have a twitch in my eye. Um, I didn't do any stitching. I was so tired from having, uh, just gone to Paris. I was excited about Jersey and every time I thought about doing anything I just overwhelmed myself I guess anyway so I didn't do anything prior to flying out um also I spent like a day driving my kids I met my mom halfway to her house so that they could go stay with them for the weekend um but even halfway that was three and a half hours there and three and a half hours back and then my day was gone because I needed to get some sleep so that I could get on an airplane in the middle of the night. Not really. We drove in the middle of the night, got on the airplane at six o'clock in the morning, but it's a four hour drive. And you know, you have to be at the airport early because you never know what the security line is going to be like. So I had to get there early. Before I hit the ground running like I am about my week, I do want to say that this will probably be cut into segments because um, I can't pull everything in here. Guys, it's that much. It is going to be a Jesse Marie movie. Get your um, coffee or whatever. Take a bathroom break. Um, feel free to pause this at any point. I'm going to go over all the things. And if haul is not your thing, this is not your video because that's basically all it's going to be and it's going to be a lot of it. Um, I know some people are interested. That's why I'm doing this. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't because I typically don't like what an entire hour long movie is just about stuff people got but here we are so i got on the plane flew to new jersey by the way it was my birthday weekend um i try not to make too big of a deal about my birthday but um so my husband sent me with a nice little chunk of change to um he's like have fun and needle to workers delight and I did. So that's why this is going to be so extensive. Not to mention all the freebies at retreat, um, all the freebies from the freebie table, all the stuff I bought. A couple things have come in the mail since then. It's crazy, y'all. Okay. So for the people I didn't just lose, because <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a significant number, and that's fine. Um, like I said, I probably wouldn't sit around for this this either. My first little snippet, okay, um, and I'm not necessarily going to go through the entire weekend, okay, um, like step by step. Basically, I arrived in New Jersey at noon on Thursday, uh, August 1st. Crafty Kim, she has a floss tube channel. I will make sure, I will try my best to link things below, um, along with Allison from Stitching Social. Um, had driven in from Canada. They got to the airport right about the time I was getting off the plane. So I rode with them over to Needle Workers Delight, did a little shopping, went to the retreat, enjoyed a nice evening with friends. Um, pretty much all day Friday, sat there and enjoyed it. Saturday, uh, we did go to Needle Workers Delight again. Um, went out to eat because it was my birthday. Um, <laughs> I want to say how much I appreciate everybody that told me happy birthday because I was in the middle of the retreat and so I didn't answer all the messages on Facebook and I got a ton of them. Um, I am super thankful that we didn't make a big thing of it at retreat. So if you were there and didn't know, uh, that was on purpose. Uh, thank you to the people who did figure it out while I was at retreat and kept it under the radar instead of making me stand up in front of everybody because that's really not my thing. Um, so <laughs> it was cute. I came down to breakfast and Arlene's like, happy birthday. And like everybody at the table was like talking really low because we didn't want it to become a, a thing. Uh, so 
do some more shopping, enjoy time with friends. Again, Sunday, uh, I went to Needleworkers Delight again. I say goodbye to a lot of friends, which, you know, is always not the most fun. And um, then hung out in the evening time with those that were staying late. Got up Monday, went to the airport with several, uh, with Michelle and Abby and Ryan, and we all Ubered to the airport together. They all had flights at noon. Mine was not until five in the evening. So I sit there and I did some stitching. That's a quick recap of the weekend. Um, I am in a shack tonight because that's how the world works these days. I'm in a shack all week. Um, I'm hoping. I should mention there will be breaks like that too, where uh, people are sitting there staring at me, wondering why I'm talking to myself. Okay, so where was I? He got me really distracted. Oh, I'm hoping to upload this um, over the course of the night tonight into the morning. I'm hoping you'll be able to see this Friday morning. If not, sorry for the f announcement you missed. Um, if you're not watching it on Friday too, virtual stitchers will be doing a live, um, floss tube all weekend for the 24 hours of cross stitch. I do not have any current plans except to maybe change projects a lot. No new starts. Um, maybe a finish, who knows? So that's coming up this weekend. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tumble into stuff first um because like i said i'm kind of having to do things as i can take them in and out of my car uh because it's a lot so my first little bag here is anything that is not <laughs> fabric or chart so um and not and that i bought so this is starting the purchased items um i have to get scissors everywhere i go because that is my thing um, I went three times, therefore I ended up with three pairs of scissors. I will not always do that. It just worked out that way. So the first time I went, oops, I got these lovely little ladybugs because I don't need to do that. Oh, now I'm going to have to change my battery. This is going to be a crazy video, y'all. And we're back again. Okay. Fresh battery, fresh video card. I might make it a little while. Okay. So, as you saw me throw these over my shoulder, this is the little ladybugs. They're super cute. Um, it says Dink Dyes scissors, I guess. So, there are those. Then, the second time I went, let me see. I got these super cute. Oh my goodness. These may become my main scissors for a bit. Um, open it. They're just purple, really small and, you know, basic, but I really like them. So, and again, it doesn't say who they're by or anything like that. DDSC27. Okay. I'm gonna try and not linger on things. Um, and then we've got these little purple ones by Soulmate. Um, Trisha, the Latina stitcher, had some that I had to borrow a couple times because I kept forgetting to bring my scissors down from my room. And they worked great, so I picked up a pair. And purple, because purple. I had one of these a while back. I got it from Leslie at one of the mirror retreats, but it's been lost since then, so I got a new one. It is a magnetic extendable. Um, if you watch the Sunshine Stitchers, Chilia has been pointing with it. It's called a pickup wand. By yarn tree. You can see the yarn tree. Um, I don't know if I was talking to y'all or talking to virtual stitchers, but I ran off and left my snag nabbit in a shack. I don't know if I'll ever see it again. So, of course, I bought myself a new one because it's very important to have that. Um, don't go anywhere and not buy needles. John James, 28 teens. And let's see. I got one of these to kind of hang my scissors around my neck. Uh, let's see if I ever actually get around to doing that because 
I have the best of intentions all the time, but follow through, it's not always my thing. I got a Grand Guard. It's got little orange pumpkins on it. It's for an 11 inch uh, round, I think. So it should work with my eight by 11. We'll see. I don't know. Lastly, um, and you'll hear more about these later. I did get a couple of uh, flosses that I haven't used already. You'll see two later that I have used already, but um, this is 550E12. Of course, I'm gonna get no focus today, but whatever. The lighting is not great. I kind of wanted to face y'all this way, so this was like blowing my hair out of my face, but yeah, it didn't work out that way. And then Classic Color Works Heatherly. Come on, focus. This is really pretty pink and purple blend. Purple's not coming out quite like it actually is, but if I do that, maybe it's a little better. Okay. So those, oh, and this cute, 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 cute little needle minder. Um, it's a seahorse. So cute. Okay, so let me put this all in the bag. Um, and then I'll grab something else and be right back. Hey there. Okay, we're back again. Um, it's been a little bit of a break since I was last, since I showed you all the last things. I feel like I'm... Ugh. Anyway, um, Jen Lee just did her live uh, 24 hours of cross stitch video, so I stopped, watched that, and here we are. Okay, so the next thing I think I'm going to do while my lighting is still not bad is the fabric, because you really need um, light to, to get good color, and then we will move on. Uh, hopefully, I don't get too many interruptions from guys uh, driving in, so here we go. I guess I should have pulled them out and had them sitting on the table before I started this. And I have not taken anything out of packages or, you know, just, we are very go with the flow around here. Okay. And I don't know which ones I got at which point. It just is what it is. So this first one is a Silk Weaver. Uh, most of these will be these Weigart Silk Weaver. That's where I was at New Yorker Select. This is a 36 count Molino. Um, so it looks like an even weave. I mean, it is an even weave. There are no slubs in this thing. Um, this is a solo die, so it doesn't have a name. Uh, I just picked it up off the table. It's a really pretty, like, mottled mauvey color. Um, if I if I bring up that, you can see, there we go, some of that other coloring coming through. Notice there's a piece missing. So Michelle was walking around at the freebie table looking for a piece of fabric to do a pattern on. Um, I said, here's my pile, pick what you like. So she just took the piece she needed and then gave the rest back to me. And I think I'll be using the same fabric for the same pattern um, because I thought it was amazing. And I'm sure she'll be showing that on her um, channel this weekend. Okay, next. I got some 32 count Lugana. This is just one of those fussy cuts. It's sparkly, it's white. Not a whole lot going on there. This one is a 32 count Belfast. I did get some linens, but I think I like Zweigart linen. Pretty sure. <laughs> Guess I'll find out. It doesn't look too slubby. It's um, stiff without being too stiff. So this is uh, Supernatural. So it is gorgeous. And that's the thing. I prefer even weave, but if a fabric is gorgeous enough, I'm going to get it. It doesn't matter what fabric it is. And then I will just whine and complain as I stitch on it. <laughs> it's good. Okay. This one we're going to talk more about later. This is 32 count Lugana um, Golden Sun. It's a, it's a solid, but it's a beautiful, like, 
golden yellow color. We will talk about that more later. It goes with that DMC and color cl classic color works I showed you earlier. Next, um, this is a Wexford linen. This is linen that is like the closest thing to even weave I've ever seen. Like the slugs are practically not there and it's a good like not too soft, not too tight. So I decided I would um, try it. And I couldn't like risk liking it and not have enough so I bought lots of it. This is a like a light coral color. It's uh, called Coral Crystals. It's a little more peach than it's showing up in the camera, but it's lovely. Okay, next, I kind of feel like I just want to open these. Um, this is a, also a Wexford Linen 32 count. It's a solo dye, so it doesn't have a name. Um, and it's very like dreamsicle, like orange and white. I don't know. It's coming across more orange there than it is here, but it's it's still a gorgeous piece of fabric. So I don't know if the sun's helping or hurting me, but at this point you're getting the fabric. So, and I can't fold fabric. So there's that too. This one is Ruby wine. It's a thir 32 count Lugana. 32 count Lugana or 32 count Jobelin is my absolute favorite. Uh, oh my goodness. Look at that color. It's amazing. I should have got a bigger piece of this. Um, it is really, I mean, gorgeous. So, um, yeah, it's one of the fussy cuts. They had a whole bin full of them and I couldn't pass them up. So, next is 32 count Lugana in ivory. So just like an off white color. We got a 32 count Lugana in exotic orchid. I think this color is absolutely amazing. So, let's see the way it focuses. Yeah. Yep, coming across really well. There. This one was so gorgeous that I got two pieces because, you know, might as well. This is 32 Count Lugana in Autumn Sunrise. And I'm going to show you both pieces only because they dyed just a little differently. So, there is one. Let me fold it in half because that's when you really get to see the colors. There we go. And then it's Brethren, and you'll see why. This one is way more mottled and of the darker. So it's almost like getting two different things. Uh, also picked up some hunter green 28 count jubilee so it's an even leaf it's not jobelin or lugana which it, it, that's the thing about silk weavers there were so many fabrics that um i had never heard of so many different names for them this is also this is 28 count jaslyn in the richest 550 colored purple ever because I love this color. I may never even stitch on it. I just love having it. 28 Count Jaslyn. This is a solo dye. It's a nice little like teal green color. This is Annabelle. It's a 28 Count. Uh, it's really different. Like the edges. It feels like a napkin almost. Like a cloth napkin. 28 count. It is a linen. You can see some slubs. It doesn't look too bad though. Looks like it would hold together pretty well. And there's the color. One of the things we discussed was what I don't like about linen sometimes, the right, the certain kinds of linens, is getting your stitches over to is not instinctual. Whenever somebody said that, I talked to somebody, I can't remember who it was, but that was exactly the wording I needed to explain why there are linens out there I don't like because it, finding the hole is not instinctual and therefore I end up messing up a lot. So there's that. Um, this is some 36 count Modena. Um, 
So I went in 36 count even weave. You saw the first one I showed you was, and the weave is pretty tight, but it's still supposed to be 36 count. This one is real loose, like you can, you probably can't, oh well, yeah, you can kind of see, I mean, it's completely see-through. I just got a piece to play with, who knows. Um, We got a 32 count Wexford linen in fantasy. It's amazing, huh? Modeling without being too in your face and a, just a nice color. Nice color, I love it. Okay. Wexford Linen 32 Count Peach Poppies. That one's coming through pretty true. It's not really modeled, it's more of a solid color. Um, I know, it's a lot, y'all telling you I went crazy 32 count Lugana angel bliss and it, it's an opalescent it's you can't really probably get the shimmer and sparkle right now with the lighting but it does and shimmer and sparkle belongs on that color like it's amazing I love it of course I love it all I would have bought it if I didn't love it except the one I'm just curious about um, Country Mocha, 32 count Lugana. So, you see, there's a little bit of modeling. This is a nice neutral. Um, I don't buy a whole lot of that. So when I saw this and liked it, I was like, definitely put it in my bag. This one, they had a lot of like specialty dye fabrics and they were really neat, but I wouldn't really use them. Um, I will be right back. Okay, we're getting close to done. Uh, but of course I got an interruption. They have a lot of specialty dyed stuff, but it's not something I would use. Like one had paw prints on it or one had like baby feet, things like that. But this one was pretty neat. Um, mainly because I immediately had a picture in my head when I saw it. Um, so here it is. It's a dark charcoal gray with specks of white. And it just reminds me of like you know, one of those days in the middle of winter when it's really dark and snowing and you just stay in with a couple hot chocolate. So, um, I think something Christmassy will go on here. Something with snow on it. 32 count to Lugana in spring. Nice subtle green color. It's got a little bit of white modeling in there. And there, it's picking it up a little bit. So there's that. This one is 32 count Lugana in dark chocolate. I mean like for real, just solid dark brown. And second to last, well, mm -hmm. we're not quite at the last, but this is one of my absolute favorites. Like I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to stitch on it. It's a Belfast 32 count and so again, I'm picking up something because I absolutely love the color, not because I necessarily like the fabric, but you cannot pass it up when it looks this gorgeous. It is a deep red with some spots of bright red in there. And look at that. It is called Queen of Hearts. So aptly named, beautiful dye job absolutely love it so also um some 40 count newcastle linen because why not and they have their newbie pack uh like all their newest colors it's five different pieces that are all 9 by 13 um 32 count lugana we got colonial blue Lavender, Peach Fuzz, Golden Sun, and Lilac. So there are all those. That is all my fabrics, I think. Let me double check. That um, I bought. There, I do have some pretty big fabric. I will show you in the next little clip. I need to get all this put up 
answer some texts and messages I just got, and I'll be back in just a few. Okay, back again. We are going to go through um, patterns that I purchased. So remember, there will be a few different pattern segments. Um, these are going to be ones that I purchased. So the first three, um, in case you didn't already know, the um, retreat in New Jersey was hosted by Arlene Cohen, works by EDC. And so of course I had to uh, send a little money her way. And this is the one I've been wanting for a while. Um, but when I found out I was going to New Jersey, I'm like, I'm just gonna buy it from her instead of ordering it in the mail. So um, this is What Lies Within Us. It is, it's made to look kind of like a picture frame. And um, I guess I'll pull it out because glare. It says, here we go, here we go. It's focusing. What lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. And I feel like that's a very important sentiment. I also feel like um, I'm going to change these colors and use some of my Victoria mottos. That's the very first thing I thought when she put it on her floss tube. I, I immediately said, okay, I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna change all the colors. Um, these were a couple I saw while I was there and just had to have. So this is vase, flowers, and leaves. Let's see if it'll focus, there we go. It's absolutely gorgeous. And seeing them stitched up, of course, it completely makes everything um, even more of a have to have. I'm not even gonna try and say this, somebody's flower basket, you can read the name right up there. Again, these are by Works by EBC. Um, she has an Etsy shop called Works by ABC. She also has a website, worksbyabc.com. I will try and link all of that below. You should also join the Falls to New Jersey Facebook page because, um, you know, she'll eventually announce next year's, right? Okay, then the rest of these I got from Needleworkers. Um, this one was the freebie they gave us. It's uh, by Heartstring Samplery Beth West. It says a lady never discusses the length of her floss tube subscription list. So it's just the pattern. So I'll keep it back here. It was a freebie though. Uh, next, and, and all of the, the rest of this was kind of, I was walking down the aisles. If I liked it, it went in my basket because that's what my husband wanted me to do for my birthday. So this is God Bless America. I saw it um, stitch up on the wall. I had to have it. By Ruby Slipper Designs. Then uh, I can't get out of there without an Alessandra Adelaide. <laughs> Little purple. I thought that was gorgeous. Um, I freaked out when I found the Britter Cup section and might have bought more than just a few. Uh, I did not buy everything they had. Well, some of these they had multiple of, so of course I didn't buy all that. But there was only a couple that I didn't buy at all. And sometimes I still kick myself for it. So uh, you know that I'm working on the monthly series. I have November and December. Here is May and June. Uh, the first one is May Day. And Perfect Pals, which is their June. So adorable. So adorable. But did you know, she doesn't just do cats. I did not. Well, I mean, I, I kind of assumed so. But all I've seen was the cats. So I found some penguins. Isn't that adorable? I love penguins. Um, some stitchers make the best friends. And I love the stitch. We got Harvest Hunt Pretty Kitties, so just uh, some fall pumpkin-y goodness there. They also have motifs, and I saw this one first and could not, could not pass it up. And this is summer motif, it's kind of like a 
yeah, that kind of flower. And the and the spring is this heart. They're on the oh oh. There's also a rose and butterflies. Yeah, all of that. All of that is absolutely amazing. But you know, spring and summer, I had to get fall and winter too. Which these are gorgeous, but those were absolutely stunning. These I I loved them, but I could have went okay. I don't know why I would stitch those or I could wait until I absolutely need to these I could not so I'm like well if I'm gonna get the other one I gotta get the other um pretty kitty also or Britter cup also does dogs that are absolutely so cute they're not really like my dog because my dog's a small dog but the fact is my husband will be a lot happier if I don't just kit stitch cat stuff um, and then of course we gotta have the dogs and the cats. And look at this, this is my favorite. What you looking at, punk? Cause you know, you know it's the cat saying that to the dog because cats are buttholes and dogs are awesome. So, I think that's all the burger cup I ended up with. Let me check through this really quick. Just to make sure things didn't get out of order. Okay, I think we're good. Um, next I got Cricut Collections Autumn, because it's amazing, right? This one I cracked up because, and my husband cracked up, so I got it. It is a Glendon Place, a haunting household. It says, a witch, her little monsters, witch and her little monsters live here with one handsome devil. So... And that, that describes my husband. Uh, I looked at these so many times. I was like, I'm not going to get them because I can't get them all. They only had this one there. But then I was like, why the heck not? I'll buy the others later. And that's the heart in hand um, square dance series that they have going this year. So we got August, which is bees. September is chickens. And July is fish. So there's that. I have wanted this one ever since market. It is Ink Circles by any other name. Because it's gorgeous. I may have to do specialty flosses on that one. Um, these I saw stitched up and even though they were huge, like you have no idea by looking at this picture, um, they were too gorgeous to pass up. And this is Shangri-La by Kesslin. Shangri-La, that flower and that butterfly, all day. It is so gorgeous and whimsical and looks way better stitched up than these pictures give you any sort of justice on. That one, I bought, but I'm not going to show because I bought it for somebody. Um, Lindy Stitches, I love you more than yesterday. Yesterday, you got on my nerves. So, I kind of wish they had had way more Lindy Stitches stuff because I love her stuff. But I picked up this one. Um, this was this is funny because I bought this um, over the weekend, and then yesterday I was watching the Sunshine Stitchers, and she Leah showed that she just bought this. It's by My Big Toe Designs, and it's called The Best Things in Life. The best things in life are stitched. Super cute. Again, that's not mine. Okay, uh, this one was stitched up on the wall. Couldn't pass it up because it was too cute. Um, color outside of the lines. Those were, these things, the color was so rich and amazing. Had to have it. This is by Ruby Slipper Needlework Designs. Um, if y'all haven't seen this and gotten absolutely obsessed with it, I don't know where you've been because they are adorable. It is Tired Trio. They are sloths. Like seriously, look. Look how cute those adorable little things are. Had to have it. You know, I'm working on Fox Hue. I've got this one. I've also got the Hen one. I may end up doing them all. Who knows? Uh, Rovaris and I had to get a little Christmas something, right? Because that is super cute. Um, this one, 
So Deborah from Stitch the Stash was at retreat and she was stitching on this owl that was absolutely adorable. I was like, I have to have that. So she told me who it was by. I went to go buy it. They did not have it. Um, so I still got to work on that. But they did have, this is by the same company, Summer House Stitch Works. I'm trying to get that off. Um, and this is, so, so, I can't say that. Sakura? Sakura? I don't know. We used to go to a restaurant with that name all the time and I still can't say it. So I just thought that was really cute. Um, okay, now we got, these three have significantness out of all the purchases that I did. Um, first, a couple people got together, said they really liked a pattern, they were going to make it their retreat start, a whole bunch of other people bought it, so I joined the bandwagon, that's what I did. So this is Winter by Rosewood Manor, it is super cute, came with the flosses, got it i did not start it at retreat because i did start other things um but i got it because i'm sometimes i'm a sheep i'm a sheeple okay this next thing i did shopping over the course of three days i went one day grabbed some stuff went a second day grabbed some stuff went a third day grabbed some stuff apparently i really liked this pattern by Rivaris. It's called Love Grows Here. Because I bought two of them. So, there will be a giveaway this week on this channel. Um, comment below. We're going to um, just comment. Comment your name will go in the drawing. Um, I don't know. Tell me your favorite chart. A chart that you have accidentally bought two of or you're absolutely in love with. Tell me a favorite chart. Enable me some. And you will get Rivaris Love Grows Here. Because I'm a crazy person and bought too many. Last chart um, of the ones I have purchased. And this one. Okay, so I told you that my birthday was Saturday. And I was there with my stitchy bestie, um, Jessie Marie, and she decided what we were going to do for my birthday to make it significant was we were going to go to Needleworkers together. We were going to find a chart that we both liked, and we were going to completely kit it up together and not start it, apparently, because <laughs> neither one of us did. But we have it, and it's something that we are both doing. So we bought My Big Toe Designs. Stitchers make the best friends. Now, <laughs> so when we were trying to pick it out, we're like, what do you want to stitch? What do you want to stitch? We didn't know. We said, well, let's start with something that has to do with stitching and try and find that. And I remembered seeing so many charts. And when you were looking for them, all of a sudden, I couldn't remember where they were. So I found this one and we got this one. And then later I found that other one that's by Britter Cup, but it's all good. This is the one we chose. We love the colors and the sentiment. And we're putting that on that golden sun that I showed you earlier. And we both share a love of the color purple. So we got the purpley toile. We're going to change best friends to sparkly purple. Um, we grabbed the Heatherfield for the the purple one. Or the, was it Heatherfield or Heatherly? Anyways, and for the word stitchers. And then the others we're going to kit up in DMC. It does have buttons on it. I'm probably just going to stitch it. I don't think I'm going to order the buttons, but who knows? We'll see whenever I get there. So that's what the golden sun was about. That was the, what the flosses were about. I feel like y'all have fallen down again. So that is all the patterns I purchased. I'm going to put those up, pull out something else and be back in a few minutes. Okay. This next section is going to be stuff off the freebie table. Now, I want a couple of disclaimers here. One, I'm going to flip through them really fast because I got a lot. And if you have any more extensive questions about them, you can comment below or message me on Facebook or Instagram or wherever. Um, some of these, okay, so 
I, <laughs> some of these were offered to me before they hit the freebie table. I did a lot of freebie table surfing. There was still a ton that got left there. So it's not like I took all the things. Um, and, and some of these, I'm going to show you, but they're not necessarily for me. I know people who would like stuff like this. So yeah. Um, I will flip through them rather quickly. So this is a leaflet book, Peace and Harmony by Martha Schmidt, uh, Needle Made Presents. I'm not even sure what all is in there or why I grabbed it because I, you know. No matters. We got some Christmas ornaments by Christmas Miniature Country Puffs by Burdett Publications. There's 25 of them in here. Because who couldn't use another Christmas ornament? Uh, Valentine Block by Sekis and Co. I guess. There's that. Bon Appetit, A Country Kitchen. This had just so many um, different variables to it. I thought maybe I could use bits and pieces. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Hopelessly Romantic by me and Chris. We got some flowers there. Windermere Angel by Marbeck. A Year of Whimsy. These were just too adorable. Uh, Big Butt Witch by Rose Butterfly. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. There's that. Um, Glendon Place, Everybody, Every Bunny Needs Some Bunny Sometimes. A little Eastern pattern. Easter pattern there. I Love You to the Moon and Back. Designed by Joe... Uh, Joan Elliott for DMC. It's doesn't have really a cover page there. Easter Row by Bent Creek. Blessings for All. Um, X Stitch designed by Lisa. Designs by Lisa. It says, but bless the flowers and the weeds, the birds and the bees. Sports. Um, just different sports things. My daughter plays softball. It looks like there's a softball player right there. So I'm going to adapt it to be more her. Um, it's going to need darker hair and different colored clothes. Um, this is Earth Angel Blessings by Deborah Designs. Again, if you need closer pictures, hit me up. We'll do that later. Um, Served with love. I really need more stuff in my kitchen, I've decided, because I really liked a lot of the kitcheny type stuff. And that's by Lynn Waters Usa. Pastel baby bibs. I do not remember grabbing that, so I wonder if it's stuck to something else I grabbed. I didn't grab that. I have no reason for baby bibs. Don't get any ideas. Okay, personality, I'm looking at you, Megan. You better just hush. Personality Bears book. Lots of little bears all over the place. Again, I think these can be adapted to maybe something different. Or give me ideas, I don't know. Sue Hillis Designs, it's seasonal baskets. I meant to buy her stitching ones. They were up at the shop and I didn't grab them. Oh well. Doreen Jones, because Doreen Jones, Holly and Heart set. I love Doreen Jones. Candy Corn Crazy by Sue Hillis Designs. I'm thinking if I keep these up here, maybe I don't have to go in and out of focus constantly. I spent most of my money on cross stitch and chocolate. The rest I wasted by Forever in My Heart. Love and Be Loved by Brenda Drubay. So that one's kind of similar to what I got from Arlene. 
Roots and Wings by Waxing Moon Designs. Antique Lock and Key by Shakespeare's Peddler. Harvest Blessing by Waxing Moon Designs. Pumpkin of My Own. This looks like it was in a magazine. And My Pretty. They were stapled together. So there's that one. Oops, let's focus on my face again. And then My Pretty, which I think is what I really liked. Amy Bruken, which which hat wine cover? It says, forget candy, bring wine. Uh, set some of these down because it gets a little too heavy. Um, Stony Creek's words to live by. We got Love, Peace, and Joy by Liberty Street Designs. Beautiful Bookmarks by Leisure Arts. I love collecting bookmarks. Country Quickies by Brian Jackins. Prairie Yule by Stitches from the Heartland. Patriotic Afghan. I just like the hearts. Um, the patriotic hearts on that. I will not be making an Afghan. The Book of Christmas Cheer by Vermilion Stitchery. Charm Sampler by Raise the Roof. Seasons of Fun and Waste Canvas. Oh, shoot. So this is why I gotta break it up because I, I don't have enough room. Okay. Different seasonal things for sweaters. I will not be putting them on sweaters. But they're neat ideas. Short and Sweet Leisure Arts, number three. Figments of Fantasy, because, yeah. Needle Net, Spring Nestlings by Country Cross Stitch. Count on Cappy, book two of samplers. These had lots of sayings. I think I wanted to maybe use the sayings in a different type of chart. Val stuff, happy bunny day. Butterfly wings by Stony Creek, because I love butterflies all day, every day. Watercolor Easter eggs by Sekis and Co. Somebody's going to correct me later on how I'm saying that. I know it. I know it. Spring Baskets. Denim and Daisies. Sam Hawkins. Um, this has some of the sign stuff. Again, I think I'm looking more just for inspiration from something like that. Okay, now these I'm going to have to do a little more carefully because I won some of these in a raffle and they got mixed in with my freebie stuff. So, um, I'm not even sure which ones. I'm thinking those. Whoever donated to Lindsay Hates, thank you. Um, I won two raffles. I'll show the other one. I'll show them later. But, um, anyway. Waxing Moon Designs. Autumn Nap. Lizzie Kate. I got lots of Lizzie Kate, y'all, because this is one of the things where I said my friend kind of let me pick and choose before they went to the freebie table. So, Easter Sampler by Lizzie Kate. Misty Hill Studio, it's crunch time. I think I like the fallness, autumnalness of that. Red, White, and Beach. Love Summer by Lizzie Kate. Blue Squared by Lizzie Kate. Busy Hands Make Happy Hearts. 
for a mix sampler. Uh, February stamp flip it. Uh, old Santa 2016. A January stamp flip it. Buzz by Lizzie Kate. Noelle of the Jingles by Lizzie Kate. See, I really think I'm getting into some of these came from a friend. Some of these came from the, I won like 20 Lizzie Kate charts in the raffle. And I, I don't even, they're all mixed together now. So I'm not sure. Um, a Little Luck by Lizzie Kate. Schoolhouse Sampler by Lizzie Kate. Beneath the Stars by Little House Needleworks. Believe in Santa by Pine Mountain Designs. Lizzie Kate Winter Fab Fob. Lizzie Kate's My Country. Lizzie Kate's Mystery Sampler Club. All three parts. See, I'm thinking all of these were given to me, pretty sure. Hats off to Halloween. Mill Hill Button and Beaded Kit. Mc Floor Mix Sample Boo Sampler by Lizzie Kate. Sweet Summer by Lizzie Kate. Lizzie Kate's Warm Memories. Alessandra Adelaide's Butterfly. This has been on my wish list for actually a while, so when I saw it on the freebie table, I like freaked. Um, Little House Needleworks Simplicity. Uh, Halloween Tree Spooky from the Trilogy. A Very Merry Christmas by JBW Designs. April Whip It in the Year of a Charm. Winter Sampler. Breath of Spring by Blackbird Designs. Witch Shoes by Cherrywood Design Studios. Lizzie Kate's Live Simply. Lizzie Kate's Live Laugh Love. With Thy Needle and Thread, help the Pumpkin Patch. Snow Village House. And Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries is a little cupcake. Um, Santa's Village by Little House Needleworks. Big Creek Zippies. Turkey. I literally got, the, she finished this one while we were there and handed it to me. Autumn by Lizzie Kate. Trail Creek Farm Lip Love. We got Stitching Soul by Stony Creek. Cedar Hill Forever Yours. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the rest of these are from the raffle. So, I will be showing you the raffle thing now along with all my other freebie charts. Okay, Happy Hunting by Lizzie Kate. I'm going to... Celebrate by Lizzie Kate. Booster Club Member by Lizzie Kate. Everybody Do the Hop by Lizzie Kate. Welcome All Seasons by Lizzie Kate. A pair of pilgr Pilgrims. Joy to the World. Oh, yep, I got a double. Hats off to Halloween, because I got it from both my friend and the raffle. I was afraid of that. A Merry Little Christmas. Yankee Doodle. Tiny Tidings. Also 
tiny tidings. This one might be a double two. War memories. There's no place like home. And think spring. Now think spring I'm pretty sure she gave me because I think she finished it while she was there also. So um impressive. So that's all the freebie charts I got um, off the freebie table and of course the ones from that raffle. I'm going to get these put up and I will be back for hopefully I think the last segment. We may have two more. So I'll check back in in just a minute. Okay. Now, this is stuff that we got at the retreat. So first you came in and you got your bag. And you're gonna see this on a ton of videos, I'm sure, so I'll go through it rather quickly too, but I wanted to show them. So, I was excited to be there. The bag came in with, with certain stuff in it, other stuff I had put in there since. Um, so let me get those out real quick. One of the things was this little, like, pencil pouch. It came in several different colors. Um, mine was green and it came in with a couple, this is a Neon Ray's Needlepoint Ribbon. It's going to totally wash out with my lighting right now because it's white. And this uh, Crystal Braid something, I don't know. These were donated by Gary at Fiber Top, which I think was very sweet and I will link him below. I enjoy watching or listening to his podcast every week. Bonna Pfeiffer's on there sometimes, or she's regularly on there. He interviews all the cool people. I enjoy it. We got a floss tube retreat needle minder. There we go. We got a little tape measure. A Skein of Weeks Dye Works. It's uh, like golden brown color. It's called Driftwood. I think everybody got the same, but I'm not positive. I didn't like go around picking a pole. And a really awesome Frixon highlighter. Friction. Frixion. Whatever. You can erase it. Those were all in here. Um, a couple of those things, like if you got one different from everybody else, then... Um, you got a prize. So that was neat. This bag is absolutely amazing. Um, everyone, well not, I don't know how many different kinds there were, but my table mates did not have the same fabric. So they were made differently. It, it has it, like snaps open and closed. And inside we had a scissor fob that said New Jersey Retreat 2019. Has a little pair of scissors there at the end. We got one of those um, metal keyring things with um, dried cards on it. The purple butterflies. I was just so excited because I love purple and butterflies. We got some gorgeous counting pens. Look at this. Those were so beautifully made. Just run that bag. We got some wax. Mine's in the shape of a flower. That what that light is just like totally washing me out tonight. Now that it's actually dark outside. And then there was these little handmade like traveler's notebooks. Oops. Um with like one has like grid lines and she put stamps in there and little folder things. It's awesome. Grits. Oh, and yeah, anyway. Awesome, personally made by people for the retreat. That's too cool. Just way too awesome. So we got that. That was all, oh, no, no, that was not all. The other thing, we got um, a bag. 
the first thing is the pattern for the, um, what you call it? <sighs> My brain has stopped working. Yeah, for this. Stay on here. No. But anyways, designed by Arlene. Um, it was the symbol of a weekend type thing. There's Okay, so my card got full and I got shut off and, and what else is gonna happen tonight? I don't know. This is why I kinda do the vlog thing more so than the try and say everything at once thing. Okay, so there was this paper that I have now set down <laughs> and it told the hours when things were happening, but it also lets us know. Um, we wanna do a huge shout out and thank you to Needleworkers Delight, Krynik, Weeks Dye Works, Favors with Flair, uh, Teresa Polino, and Gary Parr of Fiber Talk because those, they all donated these little freebie things in this bag. The other bag was all, um, yeah, so they donated all of this. The other bag was all the stuff that was personally created for everybody at the retreat by D. Abrams, I hope I'm saying that right, Arlene Cohen, Helen Cook, Kathy. I'm not even going to try and butcher your last name. Megan Laster, Kim Lehman, Judy Moy, Teresa Polino, Lori. I'm not going to butcher your last name either. I can hear it in my head. I don't think I can make that sound out of my mouth. Uh, Tanya Sig again, last names. Regina Starkey and Teresa Pen Prendergast and Barbara Nelson. So it made by lots of people. Um, it's amazing all the people that will get together and try and make something like this absolutely amazing. Okay, so that was in there. Then there's the big list of everybody that came, their floss tube names, their Instagram names. I know I follow most of these people, but I'm sure there's a few I don't, and I will now. I gotta sit down with that list here in just a minute. We were also given, this is from Swigart. Um, so provided probably by Needleworker Delight. It's a bunch of little motifs, um, like alphabets for your name, colors. Yeah, just, just a neat little thing. And then they gave us some fabric, freebie fabric. Look at that freebie fabric. I can't talk. Um, Edinburgh Linen 36 Count and sil Silvery Moon. These are just little ornament sizes, but hey, free fabric. It's be free fabric. Y'all try and say it three times fast. Okay. <laughs> Belfast 32 Count Linen in Linen in Deep Magenta. That color is gorgeous. I looked at that probably like a dozen times over the weekend and went, do I grab it? Kesha Linen 28 Count and Dark Teal Green. And Devosa, 18 count. This is not Ada. Looks like a really big emo weave. It's interesting. Um, and khaki. So, freebie fabrics. Okay, what else? Other feet. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk. Freebies. That is a hard word. Um, people walked around, like people that were just there for retreat made enough stuff for everybody and walked around and showed it off. I'm missing one thing. Oh, this was donated by Krynik. It's bits of all their different, well, not maybe not all, but a lot of different pieces of Krynik that you can just like throw into something. Okay, this was Caroline at Off the Grid Needle Arts was at Art Retreat and I got to talk to her and it was very exciting. Um, and she wished me a happy birthday. So that's like, you know, she made these little ones for everybody. You got to pick which one you liked. Um, Dory, hello. So cute, look at the smile. Look at the smile. Okay, inside there, uh, they were empty. I've put the freebies from everybody else. Um, Regina Starkey and Megan Laster um, walked around and gave out peels. I got some orange ones, bright orange. Badger orange. Okay. Um, I didn't catch her name. She told me it, her raffle ticket said Jamie's friend. Anyway, she walked around giving out little buddies. They could like stitching buddies. Come on, focus. There we go. 
there's that. Um, again, somebody, want, I think it was the same one with the Stitching Buddies, came around with the little quilt clips. These things are amazing. I have a bunch of them, but who could always use more? Um, Kelly made little work containers for everybody. Oh, look at my babies. Little work container. It's very cute. And Barbara Thompson made more counting pens or made some counting pens. And I got one and it's red and gorgeous. So I stuck all those in here. I have one more from Candace Slump Love Stitcher, but I'm not quite sure where I put it. Oh, oh, found it. Okay. Look at this little scissor bob. That is stitched and put together as like a little pillow and it says New Jersey 2019 and it's amazing. I'm so excited about that one. Um, there's something to be said when something is handmade. It's just absolutely stunning and amazing and so appreciated. So next, um, my roomy gift uh, from Michelle Fendi Stitching. She brought me a Love You More Studio Co. sleeve and um, her patterns, of course. So I was going to buy them anyway, so that just saved me a couple bucks. That's love. If actually, I already have love because I subscribed to uh, Mr. X Stitch Magazine. So I already had it, but it's cool. I got a printed version. And of course, I took my pattern of her Alice's Mad Plant and got her to write on it for me because she's amazing. Oh, oh, oh. And she brought me this soap. And by the way, Michelle, Husband says the smell of this soap is amazing and it is fully allowed in the bathroom. <laughs> we had a soap previously that didn't smell as good. And then uh, some purple color and cotton because she knows purple is my favorite color. And she's amazing. Okay. Lastly, so I won two raffle items. There was like a lot of raffle items up there. I won two. I won the Lizzie Key charts, which I already showed you. And then I won the most coveted item of all. It was the very last thing they drew for. They said my name. I almost cried. Um, I'm going to call it birthday juju that won me the beautiful, um, I'm not quite sure what you call this. Um, it's by Barbara Nelson. It was personally made. I don't know that she's going to be making anymore. So this may be the only one in existence and it's amazing. So you open it, there's this big button, but there's a little like stretchy thing behind there and you open it and some beautiful fabric choices here, which is absolutely stunning. On the back of this side is a project bag and this is felt. So like, you know, you take your project out of here and you lay it out and you can keep your flosses here and it's got a little um, needle minder in here. Um, and then you put it all back in the bag. And of course it's two-sided to, you know, if you need to use different ones. And then we got another project bag and another project bag. And then another piece of felt with the needle minder and another project bag. So I essentially got like four project bags and two um, floss buddies, or not floss buddies, what are they called? Bitsy bobs, basically. Um, and then there's like this little pocket here. I'm really tempted to keep my iPad back there. It'll fit, I think. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. This is all I need for anything. That's all I need. It's awesome. And it's really funny because, yeah, they're kind of small project bags, but this is what I use, people. They fit. So, amazing super excited about this. I had like people bombarding me in the bathroom to ask me questions like, you want it? Blah, blah, blah. It made me a little, um, you know, um, anxious, but otherwise it was all good. Okay. Last but not least. Oh my goodness. My daughter keeps going on my phone. Okay, 
So, um, what did I work on during retreat? That's what you really want to know, right? Why are we so zoomed in all of a sudden? Okay. All right. Last section. Um, my camera cut off again because apparently when I cleared my car, I didn't do it right. Okay. So what did I stitch on while I was at retreat? Well, um, or over this last week, cause you haven't seen. First was my heart ornament, the Valentine's ornament, and it has little swirlies on it. And so for homework, you know how like Saturday morning cartoons, you'd watch Tom and Jerry or Wile E. Coyote. Anytime they would be hit on the head, they would have like these little swirlies over their eyes or over their head cause they were stunned, right? So I was like this hot, I, I was practicing my Superfly charm, I believe is the right one. And I must have stunned the heart because the swirly showed up. So that was homework number one. Next, I worked on, let's see. Oh, I forgot this name and spell. But basically, you turn something into pieces. Well, this was something I had turned into pieces. Um, because, and, and so, you know, pieces, monthly sal, it just kind of worked. So I worked on that some right up in here, which is really cool because Brittany from Ingleside Imaginarium was there and I got to show her where I was at, even though, you know, I wasn't finished, but there was several people that had finished and they had theirs on the brag table. So that was cool. And then I, since I was finished with the, um, the week's dye works that's in here and Lily over at 42 stitches was just starting hers. Um, I give her my, Work. So I'm a little bit in her stitching, which is always cool. It's always cool to help out a fellow stitcher. Um, next I worked on good intentions because it has a cat on it and a cat is my Patronus, which I think is hilarious because I love cats. And then, um, I got a ragdoll cat as my Patronus. So, um, I worked on it and got some more of that border done. We just needed 200 stitches, so that's what it was. Um, I All I had was most of this triangle from Stitch Mania, so all of that is new. I didn't realize I put it so close to the border. Like, didn't give myself much of a border. But that's okay. I can always make it work. Next, let's see. That's for all of tonight. That. Um, oh. I worked on my mini Alice in a Dolly dream for, um, lovey corpus something, um, because you needed something that's midair and you know, there are balloons in midair on this project, but also I worked on this a little bit at the airport. I, like I said earlier, I Ubered up there with, uh, Michelle Bendy, Abby Topknot and Ryan of wild violet designs. And, uh, so I was up there way before my flight. So I got my page finished while I was sitting up at the airport. So homework for these clouds and then page finish, which is amazing. And this one will go up for a little while and we will start working on mini treasure hunt bookshelf till it gets its page finish for the year. And then I'll just flip around between them after that. I think it's already almost halfway finished, so it shouldn't shouldn't be too bad to get the page finish on mini treasure hunt bookshelf. So then let's see, we did stunned midair, um, pieces. What else? Oh, Patronus. The only other one and the one I didn't have anything for was, um, about, I forget the name of the spell, but basically you needed red sparks or beads, something sparkly and red. I did not have anything for that. Um, so, and I was, I was just going to be like, okay, I'll do, um, penalty stitches for that. But I don't know if y'all seen Jessie Marie's recentness, but she's been working on fireworks on the fourth. It's a free pattern. Well, it's a pattern you can buy from Stone Street Stitch Works on Etsy, but we got it for free in our stitch con bag last year. So I've, I've been in, I already had it fully kitted up. It was something I knew I could have started during mania. I fully intend to start at some point. And I saw that she was doing, she had changed the colors of the firework itself to each ball and it turned out amazing. And I got to actually see her finish it. I 
sat right next to her as she did it. And, um, and so I was like, definitely when I start working on it, I'm going to have to use the tool. Well, it all works for homework. So I said, guess I might as well have a new start, right? <laughs> so I started my fireworks on the fourth at retreat. Oh, and this is actually a fabric I bought also. So I did not wait until, you know, so that is my start on it. It does not sparkle in this current lighting, but trust me, it sparkles in real life. So I bought the fabric. Um, I had fabric. Okay. Here's what happened. I went to Needleworkers on the way there, knowing that I was going to do this and bought the twelve. Okay. Um, this is the fabric I had kitted. This light blue. I do not like the way it was stitching up. Um, I think because of the linen, this type of linen, it's kind of rough and it was pulling on the fibers in the etoile and I just didn't like the way it was stitching up. So I pulled out this fabric that I had gotten at Needleworkers and got started. So this is actually supposed to go like this and homework completed 10 bonus points because I did all of them without penalty stitches. Thanks, Vicki, for the new start. Vicki and Kat, they both do it. Too. Both do it. Okay, so what else did I work on this weekend? Because that can't possibly be it. Um, I was working on my hand and I ran into some issues. So I pulled out, I had fully kitted Michelle's Alice's Mad Plant. And I converted it to Victoria Mottos. And this one crescent color works that I had. Um, and I had it all kitted up. I had it with me, so I went ahead and started it. So, and then this is one I also worked on the plane a little bit. And here's where it got to. So this is supposed to be a blue. I changed it to purple because it's my favorite color. And then I was just grabbing colors that worked. So that's where I am on this one. And it's going to go up. Oh, and I bought this from Abby Top Knot. Oh man, I don't have that bag with me. I bought one of her bags and the little work bags and a bunch of needle minders. And I don't have them here. So, future video. But I did buy that one from her. So, and it says we're all mad here. And that says we're all mad here. So, they had to go together. I had to use the hoop from um, my stabby because I didn't have one and trying to work, this is like the exact size of my Q-snap so it kept slipping out and I wanted to work on it on the plate. So, but you know what that means. I worked on stabby and I finished him. So I was able to take him out of the hoop, otherwise he, would have, he wouldn't have given up his hoop. He's not, he's gonna have to get it back though in order to put him in the frame, but that's where he's at, my happy little stabby. So, I got a finish this weekend. I got a page finish. I got two new starts and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, that is it. We are at the end of this video and I know it has been crazy long. I still have to piece all the pieces together um, and get it uploading. But I wanted to share it all with you. And if you're still here, that's amazing. So, um, thank you everybody for watching me every week. I will be back to doing vlog style this coming up week. Um, it may be a shorter video and then back to normal. I don't know. Anyway, that is all I have for you tonight. Um, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, and being an awesome you. And remember you are awesome and happy stitching. See you later.